Director. I hope that's the case too, Mahela. Thanks for talking to us. Mahela Jai Wardener, who went down tonight. Now, Ricky Ponding, the winning captain. That was a serious performance. Yeah, that was a good performance tonight. Um, I thought 250 batting first on that wicket was a pretty good total as well. As you, as you saw through the game, it was uh, very uneven in both pace and bounce. Um, our batsmen adapted really well and adjusted to those conditions. Gilly played really well at the top, I thought. Matty Hayden got us off to another good start. And Michael Clark played a, a really sensible knock, you know, not taking too many risks and making sure he's there at the end. There's a lot of different ways to skin the cat, aren't there? And running between the wickets was a very important part of your batsman's success. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was, it was hard to hit boundaries tonight. I'm not sure how many boundaries we hit, but it wouldn't have been a lot for a one-day game. You know, running between the wickets was excellent. You know, Michael and Andrew Simons and Mike Hussey are obviously very, very good between the wickets. So, yeah, we got, we got to 250, and I knew that as the game wore on, our bowlers through the middle will be able to take the pace off the ball and and use the, the seam on the ball and the slowness of the wicket. And Nathan Bracken did a great job doing that tonight. He picked up five, but there were some unsung heroes too. You, you've made your support of James Hopes very clear. He gives the attack an interesting balance, particularly if you play on slower surfaces. Yeah, he does. I think Nathan Bracken's skills on slower wickets are very good as well. Um, but, you know, Hopes did a good job with the bat as well, 30, 33 or 34 late in the innings. Uh, as, he, as he showed in Brisbane, he can open the batting for us as well. So he's added a lot to the makeup of our side. And we've got great flexibility. You know, we had a couple of part-time spinners that we could have used tonight as well in Simons and, and Clark that have been doing a good job for us. So on slower conditions, um, our, our side will match up as good as anybody's. And the other thing that struck us watching tonight, and I reckon everybody in the ground and at home, the hunger, a real deep desire for victory. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, we obviously know uh, no win up at the Gabba, and um, uh, we've been uh, here in Sydney preparing for nearly a week for this game, so I'd be disappointed if that hunger wasn't around. Um, you know, we've got ourselves off to a, a good start now, um, and we always judge ourselves uh, on our fielding, and I, I thought our fielding tonight was, was very sharp, so we've got a game against India now and, uh, on Sunday down in Melbourne, and that'll be another big one for us. I heard Matty saying uh, you boys always look forward to getting down to the MCG. It's uh, a coliseum for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is a great place to play one day cricket, there's no doubt about that. Hopefully we can get another good crowd down there and uh, yeah, hopefully we can keep playing some good, good entertaining cricket. Yeah, good on you. Thanks for coming to chat to us, Ricky. Thanks, All right, well, it was a 50-50 shot, I think, for Dave Gilbert, who was deciding the man of the match. He might have gone for Michael Clark because he played a top-class innings on a tricky pitch. But in the end, Nathan Bracken's excellent bowling performance wins him the Commonwealth Bank Series Player of the Match tonight. There's uh, sort of a check. It's, it's not actually the bit of paper, mate. It won't go in the bank, but well done. It, right at the top of your game, I thought. Yeah, things went well, and I think it made it a lot easier. The boys batted very well, gave us a good target to bowl at. So it was about just going and doing the jobs we practice, in the nets every week. Well, you say that, but you got the ball A to swing, the new ball, and B to cut a bit later. Uh, I like that dismissal of Taranga. You kind of fed him the option to hit the drive, and uh, the ball just went late for you. I actually walked back going, don't bowl wide, don't bowl wide, and then threw one out wide. So it wasn't, wasn't quite the plan, but you take those, and, and other times you bowl the perfect ball, it doesn't come off. And a long experience of bowling here at the Sydney Cricket Ground and, and practicing uh, training to work on different types of slower ball and changes of pace, yeah? Yeah, it's something here, especially when it's a good wicket and it's nice and flat, you need something, you just need a bit of variety. And, and for me, it, it probably not been able to bowl at 150k an hour. It's important to be able to do that change up. So it's something we'll keep working on and hopefully can get better. Good balance to this attack. I was just talking to Ricky about that. There's lots of options for the captain. It is, and all the guys are bowling very well at the moment. So Mitch bowled exceptionally well today and, and Brett started us off again really well and, and Hoggy chipped in perfectly and, and did his job exceptionally well and, and hopes he's been great for us. And nothing better for uh, a New South Welshman to be MOM here at the City Cricket Ground. Uh, it's a nice feeling. I think it's my first one here, so hopefully there's a few more to come. Bowled beautifully, Nathan Bracken, figures of 5 for 47. Dave Gilbert, the former Surrey.